what's up guys in this video I'm going to be unboxing some Guggen Squad stuff so we're gonna unbox this package I'm sorry about the shadow we're gonna unbox this I'm gonna stop talking so I know for sure that I ordered the Rattlin Chunk and the Explode Toad those are the two new Guggen soft plastics and I ordered them right when they came out like within two or three hours of when they first dropped on the website but they didn't come till like I think it's a month later I mean it's kind of ridiculous but I understand that they have thousands of orders every day and they're a small company so I did order some clothes and stuff too because um, once you order $100 on their site you get free shipping and I was at like 120 without because I was at like $90 um, total on the site and then plus the $30 for shipping was like 120 so I'm like, I might as well get more stuff. So I got some clothing, got some merch, and um, got baits. So. It's been a long wait, I'll be honest. I thought I was going to unbox this like a week after I got it at the latest, but it's a month later. I mean, pretty long time to be honest. But So first, I'm going to go through the apparel first, set the box down. Um, and yes, I am in my closet, so, um, everything's, like, super compact. Uh, right here you can see is my dresser, and that's, um, some more shelves for more clothes. But, I'm, anyway, I'm gonna stop talking, so, this is the Guggen Squad. Hold on, let me focus. There's the Guggen Squad hat. I was gonna get the the black one or the gray one the dark gray or the black one I forgot what it was but they were sold out so this one's not bad it's the army color so yeah it's just a trucker hat um should be all I'm definitely gonna wear this but right now alright um you'll probably see me wearing this hat from in some of my videos and um, as you guys can see in the background, I'm a huge supporter of Guggen Baits. I've never bought apparel from them. I've just bought their baits at like Fleet Farm and stuff. But I didn't think it would take this long to ship. But I get it, the coronavirus and all that crap. But this is the Guggen Squad hoodie. Um, it's a lot bigger than I thought it would be. But um, I'm gonna. I yeah, I bought the hat and the hoodie so this is the I forgot what color this was but it's like sandstone or something like that I should probably unfold it whoever fold this is a god because I suck at folding clothes this is a lot thicker than I thought it would be it's, it's like multiple layers of fabric this is this is going to be good for the colder weather i'll probably wear this ice fishing this might be like my heaviest sweatshirt i own but yeah that's that looks good it's the i was going to get like the guggen squad gold series but i realized that they um ran out of stock of that a while ago so and now we get to the baits so i didn't order much but these are the two new baits I don't know if you can hear that. Put it by the microphone. But yeah, this is the rattling chunk. Again, the lighting is terrible. There, that looks good. So that's the rattling chunk. Then I guess we got, and I got the Okeechobee Craw color. Um, so, um, I don't know if you guys realize this or not, but. I ordered these in October, the beginning of October, and um, right now it's almost December, so I was planning to use these in the late fall, but um, yeah, it's almost winter now, so I got, <laughs> we're not going to be able to fish these because the water, it's still open water right now as the time of this video. It's like, it freezes at night and then it melts during the day because it's like 30, 38, 39 during the day, and then it's like 20 to 20. It's like 20, it's like low 20s to um, low 30s during the night time. So it freezes, the ice freezes at night and then it melts during the day. It's really annoying because I can't go fishing really because it's 
nothing bites when it's this cold, but and then obviously I'm not gonna use a top water in when the water's about to freeze because nothing's gonna bite. But there's the explode toad for people down south. That's probably um, still a good bait, maybe I don't know. I never fished down south before, but up north it's uh, the water's about to freeze, so they're definitely not eating top water anymore. So I'm gonna take those out, but um, first. I was looking at this in the summertime. This is the Guggen Squad Poppin' Frog. Um, I was looking at this in the summertime. I was about to order it, but then I realized that it was $30 including shipping, and I'm not about to pay $30 for a frog. So I had to wait till I had a big order, and um, I finally had a big order. So I had a hoodie, a hat, two soft plastics, and finally this. So this is the Poppin' Frog. It was, it's only like 6 or $7 by itself, which is fine by me. But when you add the shipping and the coronavirus and all that stupid stuff, then it adds up to be 30, it was like 25 to $30. So I was like, I'm not paying $30 for a frog. I'm probably going to lose in the first couple days. So this is the eat me frog, popping frog. I like the design. It's pretty cool. Got to get the old flashlight out. Oh, that looks good. Oh, that's perfect lighting right there. All right, that's the, and then, cause popping frogs are my favorite frogs, like the little poppers, but, and then I can never get back into the lily pads, so. Um, oh, this smells pretty good. I mean, the scent might not be there by um, summertime next year, but it's all good. Got the, it's focusing on me. Got the nice popping. And it's got the Guggen Squad eyes. So yeah, pretty cool frog to be honest. Um, yeah, pretty cool frog. Now we're gonna crack into the. This is basically the um, Rattlin chunk is basically um, a crack and craw, but it's short. It's made for like a jig trailer. I'm pretty sure, and um, it has the rattle, and the design's a little bit different. It's more compact. That's why it's mainly like a jig trailer. So here we go. Uh, I like the Guggen Squad packages, as you can see. I have them in the back there as display. So I'll probably put that up there once I'm done with this video, add to the wall. And I just started buying Guggen baits this year. That's why I don't have much, but hopefully by next year, I'll have like a lot. And I, I don't really like sit down videos, but you know, I thought I might as well have a decent background. I mean, I should probably add more stuff to make it more exciting, but um, this is the Okeechobee Croc color, like I said. And um, definitely way more compact than the Kraken Craw. Kraken Craw, if you don't know, is my favorite soft plastic by far. It has a perfect craw imitation. So let's see how this compares to the Kraken Craw. I don't, th I don't know if I have any Kraken Craws. They might be, might be in the garage. Um, Still has that good, oh my god. I haven't smelt fresh Guggen baits in like a solid three months because like I'm not going to be buying moving baits when it's fall time and they're finesse. So. And I'll be honest, I haven't caught a largemouth bass in probably a month or two. And um, I'm really eager for ice fishing this year so I can get on some more largies. But again, sorry about the lighting, It's it's terrible, but that's what it looks like. It's got the same design as the Kraken Craw, except for uh, it's a lot shorter and the, it doesn't have those things on the front. Um, yeah, that's the Rattlin Chunk. I personally think that that'll be my go-to jig trailer. And then this is the Explode Toad. Um, one, two, three, four, five. There's five in here. You usually get like seven Guggen baits, I'm pretty sure. Sometimes eight, I don't know. But I really like the packaging. If you haven't got Guggen Baits, probably easily my favorite brand. Um, not only because I like the Guggen Squad and their videos, but it's just overall, I like their scent. They put a lot of time into their baits. And this is basically like a buzz bait, but it's a soft plastic. It's like a horny toad, but there's a lot of plastic in this. It's, it's pretty heavy. Definitely going to be throwing this on a Texas rig. 
basically mimics the uh, like a little buzz bait, but it's all it's just a soft plastic. So you like you can't really throw. I mean, you could throw a buzz bait in the lily pads, but I guarantee you'll get stuck in the pads. But with this, it's when you rig it with a little bass bass hook and Texas rig, it's not gonna get caught in the lily pads, and you will get a lot of bites because you'll be able to throw it right in the lily pads and make a lot of disturbance with this. And I heard um, some people throwing it, or um, using it like beneath the surface too. Um, but I'll probably just use for a little buzz bait. So yeah, those are the new Guggen baits and my little um, Guggen unboxing. I've never done one of these before, but I'm going to put these back in the package and hopefully save them for summertime or maybe even late spring, depending on the weather. But I am excited for ice fishing. And um, let's just say I, uh, I don't really want to go fishing with this because first of all, I know that there's a 99.9% .9 chance that I'm not going to catch anything. Like, it would be very rare for me to catch something because, like, it is so cold out and the fish are just not not biting at all. Like, I've went out so many times and tried, even though I knew that they weren't really going to bite. But, yeah, we got some horny, or um, some Guggen, what are they called, explode toads, and then got some rattling chunks, so. I think this was a successful little video little Guggen haul and um, I'm a huge supporter of the Guggen squad so I thought I'd make this video I really like their videos I really like their baits I really like just the way they run things basically I like how they put so much time and effort into their baits and the scent the scent is my favorite like I'm kind of obsessed with the Guggen squad to be honest like look at that frog like what would not eat that it's a little poppin' frog. I'll, pro I'll definitely be using this a lot. Um, might trim the skirt. And then um, what what they do is they bend up the hooks a little bit. But I think that this was a successful video. Um, if you watched all the way to the end, I really appreciate you. Um, and comment below your favorite Guggen Squad member. And um, yeah, mine's probably John B. I like Peric too, but I like them all. But John B's probably my favorite because he's the most relatable and then um weston smith is probably like my favorite supporter of the Guggen squad because i know he's in like almost all the Guggen squad videos um yeah that's pretty much it for the video comment below your favorite Guggen squad member but yeah thank you guys for watching i really i really appreciate the people that watch all of my videos and um thank you guys for watching and i'll see y'all next time